hello farmers welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to calculate the stocking density of your pond to calculate how many fish you can stock in your pond here is uh, my fish pond i want to stock some juveniles here so i'm going to calculate the stocking density to know the quantity of fish to stock in this pond so i need a tape this is a measuring tape then I will take the length and the width of the pond. The length is the longest side of the pond and the width is the shortest side of the pond. So follow me. This is my tape. So I'm going to measure it. The length of our pond is, uh, is 3 meters, 3.4, 3 meters, 4 meters. The length of our pond is 4.25 meters. 4.25 meters. We are going to take the width. The length, remember, is 4.2 meters. 4.25 meters and this is the width I told you the width is the shorter side of the pond and the length is the longer side you can get a tape from any building material shop you buy your measuring tape there that is calibrated in meters so our width is 1.65 meters length is 4.25 meters and width is 1.65 meters so I'm going to show you how to complete. Yeah. I said our length is four point two five meters. Our width W is equal to 1.65 meters. Now, to know the stocking capacity of this pond, I'm going to calculate the area of the pond. Area is equal to length times width. Length times width will give us the area of the pond everything is in meters so our length is 4.25 times our width which is 1.65 so which is equal to uh, 4.25 times 1.65 sorry 4.25 times 1.65 our uh, width will be uh, our area will be 7.0125 uh, square meters, which is approximately seven square meters. So this is the area of our pond. For us to know the stocking capacity of our pond. For us to know the stocking capacity of our pond, we have uh, our stocking recommendation. Uh, if they are fingerlings or juveniles, we recommend that it should be 62, 60 to 62 uh, fish or fingerlings. Let's say fingerlings per square meters. Then from 250 gram to 1 kg. You use 50 fish per square meters. So we said uh, the area of our pond is 7 meters. So I want to stock uh, juveniles. So how many juveniles can I stock here? I will take this one. It will be 62 times uh, 7, which is equal to... 62 times 7 is 4, 3, 4, 
fish. Or even ice. So we have uh, 434 juveniles uh, uh, that I can stock in this pond. But I want to rear them to 1 kg. So I'm going to use 50 fish per square meter, which is this one, this one here. So 50 per square meter, 50 times uh, 7. Remember the area of our pond is 7 square meter which is equal to uh, 50 times seven. 50 times 7 give us 300 350 350 fish or uh, juveniles since I'm stocking juveniles so <clears throat> that's the number of the quantity of fish I can stock in this uh, fish. It is important for you to always know your stocking density because if you overstock your pond, you will have stunted growth, you will have high rate of cannibalism, you will have a disease outbreak, there will be infection in the pond, which uh, will be very difficult for you to manage. So it is always good and advisable. The first thing for you to do before you start stocking is to know the carrying capacity of your pond and always stick to the carrying capacity of your pond thank you